Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Kip, and this is Kip's Tips. So today, I'm going to be talking to you about an awesome strategy to help you get wins in Fortnite Battle Royale. This strategy is called Skip the Storm, and it's centered around the way that you land. So typically, in a normal game, what you would do is you would pick a spot on the map and straight drop to that point. Instead, with this Skip the Storm strategy, what we want to do is ride the battle bus all the way to the very end until it kicks you off. Once you get kicked off the battle bus, you want to immediately pull out your glider and float to the center point of the map. This is a mountain right to the left of Dusty Depot. This point is the point I choose every time because I feel it is the most centered point in all of the map. Once you get kicked off the battle bus, as you'll see me soon do in the gameplay, you'll have one full minute to get to the very center of the map. Keeping your glider out for this is very important. Don't drop down any as you want to keep your height in the air. It will most likely take you the full minute to get to the center of the map. If you have extra time, be sure to do as many spins as possible. Um, so once, once the full minute is up, the new circle will be determined. Um, since we're so high in the air still, we can look at the new circle and go to a very secluded spot on the map, which will have a lot of loot for us um, and no danger. It's important to choose to drop in an area with low traffic like Moisty Mire or Wailing Woods when choosing uh, your location in the new circle. If you decide to uh, do this strategy and go to Retail Row or Pleasant Park, you're probably going to be the last one there. All the loot will be gone and you'll most likely die. So choosing wisely is very important. As you can see in the gameplay in the background, Wailing Woods is safe. So I'm going to choose to go just above Wailing Woods to the left um, at a house uh, that I call Grandpa's house. And this spot is almost never taken and can spawn up to three chests. So this is one of my favorite spots in Fortnite Battle Royale. It's important to note that this strategy does take a lot of patience, but it's well worth it. As you land, there will most likely only be around 50 people left. Going from 100 people to 50 people sounds a lot easier to win. If you like this strategy enough in solos, you can also do it successfully in duos and squads. And this is one of the ways that I get most of my squad wins. Here, I'm finally getting close to my landing destination of Grandpa's house. Now that I'm getting close, I want to be looking for signs of enemies, which there appear to be none. Since there doesn't seem to be enemy, any enemies around, I decide to go for the landing. A quick tip that you may or may not know is that if you fall over the ocean, you have greater fall distance than when falling over, say, a mountain or um, a very tall building. So I wanted to fall over the ocean, and I'm coming in for my landing. Okay, so as I land here at the top of Grandpa's house, uh, I want to give out my first tip uh, for the strategy, and that would be to memorize a loot run for all of the locations um, on the edges of the map. So for Flush Factory, uh, Wailing Woods, Moisty Mire, and Junk Junction, come up with a strategy that you feel is the safest, you see less people, but also you get a lot of chests and a lot of good floor loot. Um, for me, I like to go to Grandpa's house, then go over here to this ice cream uh, truck right here, and then the shack behind it. And if nobody's looted the houses uh, up in this farmland, then I'll loot those as well. And this is this tip is really important just so that you know you're trying to optimize the loot without running into too many people. The next tip that I would give is once you feel comfortable with your loot, uh, be sure to get as many materials as possible. For me, for me, I feel most comfortable with at least 1,000 material uh, when entering the final circle. So typically, that's about 600 wood and a combination of 400 brick and metal that I typically go into the top 10 with and this is just so that I can build and fortify a base and uh, be able to protect it if somebody spamming grenades or RPGs at it. Um, you could probably make it alright with a little bit less but uh, just to be safe uh, with all this extra time you have not running from the circle I would advise getting as much material as possible. My third tip to you guys would be to play the circle as much as possible. What I mean by playing the circle is to keep your flanks uh, or your places that you can get shot from. Try to minimize them by staying along the edge of the storm. And if you can run along the edge of the storm into the new safe zone, 
do that whenever possible. Um, I'll try and throw up a visual uh, to, just to, to show you um, what I'm talking about. But a YouTuber by the name of Beanhead09 makes has made a great tutorial on how to stay alive while moving into the next ring. Um, here we are in this gameplay coming into the top 15. Of course, I don't have any kills, which is alright because we're just trying to play it safe and get easy victories to buff those stats. Okay, looking into this gameplay, we can see that I've done a lot of things right and I've put myself in a great situation to win this upcoming top 10. So you can see I have an assault rifle with 170 shots. Of course, it's not a strong assault rifle like a SCAR or anything, but I, I feel like having plenty of shots and plenty of materials is perfectly fine. Um, I have a tactical shotgun, which is my preferred shotgun. We have a grenade launcher, which I feel is probably the most important and most powerful gun in the game. And uh, we have mini shields, and a big shield. I prefer to carry two two slots of shield over uh, a med kit or bandages. Uh, finding a campfire is, is perfect really, but this gameplay feels like slow motion watching it back after having so much uh, fast forward. But um, yeah, what I was talking about with riding the ring, I'm doing that here in this gameplay. Um, I'm basically following the zone, uh, or following the storm into the new safe zone, and that prevents uh, me being shot from my left so all I have to focus on is enemies to my right and uh, that just helps me stay more confident and also stay more uh, aware of my surroundings. Coming up here we run into our first enemy out of the whole game. We landed with only 53 people alive and I've just spotted my first enemy so I'm going to utilize my grenade launcher, shoot some uh, cheap shots at him, pull out the AR and the great thing about not having too strong of a loot is if you can get a kill on somebody late game they're probably gonna have very strong loot and so uh, just killing one person fixes a bad loot problem so here I'm building up to take him down get some good shots on him bright bombers are always good builders and uh, he goes into the storm a little bit which uh, kinda threw me off honestly but I'm patient probably should have kept some high ground over here but I'm doing all right I'm still waiting on him to come out of the storm he's getting very weak though the storm does a lot of damage at this point and then here he pops up and I take him out unfortunately for me this guy died just a little bit in the storm so I pick up his scar uh, standing outside the storm but I see some rockets in there and some other good loot so I want to come in real quick take a little bit of damage which is fine and then I'll come over and take this big shield but you can see how dated this gameplay is uh, you can see back there in that shotgun fight as a couple of comets came down from the sky this is just at the end of season 3 so I apologize for the a little bit old gameplay but uh, only three other enemies left I'm feeling very confident and uh, I'm very happy that I got a scar out of that engagement so I'm gonna come around here still riding that riding that ring trying to minimize the amount of people that uh, can shoot me from s different sides at this point in the game I decide I should probably get some high ground uh, and head into the new circle so um, I'm gonna build up over here on this hill and hopefully a million comments won't take out my base but I guess we'll see um, I'm gonna use my brick um, to build my kind of super base and uh, I get stuck here I, I don't know do you get does that happen to you guys a lot uh, I hate it when that happens so uh, just as I get in this new ring I'm gonna place some walls down and get ready for these final two fights with these guys in a top five situation like this it's important to be very confident in your abilities and to take a deep breath and uh, kind of just relax and enjoy. I think this is probably the most fun part about um, Fortnite and skipping the skipping the swarm or doing the float strategy it helps it helps you get to this point a lot more often so here I confidently build my three three tall um, three wide structure I call this my mega base and oh man I take a little bit of fall damage I guess I built it four high but um, 
right here the other two people are kind of laying back a little bit and I'm just utilizing uh, this time to uh, build a build a strong structure so that rockets and grenades can't take me out um, if you if you'd prefer to use metal um, that would that would work well in this situation but um, I, I most often use brick and here uh, I see this other guy man the combination of the comets and his rockets take me down I try to quickly recover here um, I'm putting some shots into him and then oh man uh, the third guy shows himself with a sniper shot so I put up a quick wall to defend myself from the right uh, while I keep shooting at this guy uh, He's not too good of a builder, so I know that if I just keep putting shots into him, eventually I'll get him. And uh, here we go. Yep, I, t I take him out right there. But the comets just keep coming down. So uh, this is the final, final battle. Hoping to claim the fruits of our of our labor. Unfortunately, as you can see, though, the circle, uh, the new circles, all the way across the map, or across the playing field. So, but I can I can tell that this guy is um, spam building, and I honestly think that he's a little bit nervous. So, I'm gonna keep up the pressure a little bit. Um, try and inch my way in a little bit if I can, but my cover just keeps getting knocked down. Uh, I quickly switch to wood because um, wood is the best. It it builds itself the fastest, and it's the best uh, at defending rockets and. Um, and bullets quickly. Okay, I move. I'm moving towards them. Rush them. Pull out my shotgun. One, two. He's missing. Boom! I get the victory. So only a three kill victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. All right, those are all my tips for the skip the storm strategy. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Kip's Tips signing out. See you guys later.